Thank you for joining us today on HXGN Live TV. I'm your host, Monica Miller Rogers. From downloading videos to streaming on demand books, content services are becoming a trend in today's society. This trend is not lost on the airborne industry either. So in 2014, the Hexagon Imagery Program was introduced, and this is a content delivery service online of premium airborne imagery. And it's collected with Leica Geosystems leading airborne sensors. Here to tell us more about this program is John Belter, Leica Geosystems Geospatial Solutions Division President, and Dr. Simon Museos of Cowie, who is the Director of Mapping. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here with us today. Thanks, Monica. So, John, we'll start with you. What can you tell us about the Hexagon Imagery Program? Well, the program was really created to satisfy the demand for current, accurate, fresh imagery. Um, as we've seen across Hexagon, you know, there's a, an increased demand for this imagery to power intelligent decisions. And our customers are now looking at applying this on, you know, more global basis, whether it's countrywide, continent-wide. So what we did was we built a special sensor that had some unique efficiency to, to capture this quickly. And then we teamed with our partners who have been customers of Leica for many, many years on our airborne sensor portfolio to build this program together to satisfy this need. So that's really how we, how we pulled this off, using our expertise on the sensor side and our longstanding customers with their expertise in the local regions. So, John, since the introduction of the Hexagon Imagery Program in 2014, you have increased the coverage area, and recently you made some major updates to the program. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. So, when we started this program, it was originally 30 centimeter on a four-year basis. Uh, as you mentioned, this year is the third year of the program, and we're already seeing several states being refreshed. So, this is all because of the demand in industry that wants this data faster than this original four-year cycle. The other thing that we've had start uh, in October of last year that's very interesting is for any urban area in the U.S., over 50,000 population, we now have a 15 centimeter offering as well on a two-year basis, which probably eventually will accelerate from that. So interesting that uh, our customer base has, has demanded more data faster. Okay. And with this program, you are also now including elevation. What can you tell us about that? So we acquired an interesting company called uh, Sigma Space a couple months ago, and they have some very interesting LiDAR technology, very, very efficient. So what this has done is it's allowed us to begin a program that we call the Hex uh, Hexagon Elevation Program. And it's to connect the, or cover the entire United States with a very high density uh, DEM type product on a probably four to five year basis. And this is just starting up, it's year zero, and very, very exciting to get this up and going. Absolutely. Right, so Simon, at Cowie, you actually use the airborne sensors by Leica Geosystems to collect this imagery. Can you tell us how you go about doing that? Well, Monica, in Europe, we are three partners and uh, Cowie flies three out of the available ADS-100 HP systems. We have mounted these uh, systems in pressurized aircraft. So this means we can really use optimal uh, flight height for these systems. And uh, we must also say we have been very successful and uh, we see very satisfactory results of these systems. The important part in Europe is especially that we can fly efficiently because the flight windows are relatively, relatively short and uh, as uh, we all know Europe is a little bit farther in the north than the United States and has different weather patterns all over. That means speed, efficiency is everything, and this is what we can see with the sensors. The continuous um, data acquisition also requires an efficient production line behind. We use the Leica production workflow, which is certified um, by Leica for this program, and um, we are able also to maintain the high quality requirements with this in combination um, with our own tools. Kovi has since long years, I would say, since more than 40 years experience in auto photo processing. And uh, the combination with our distributed processing tools in, uh, in the Leica process helps us to satisfy the requirements here. In the future, we are also planning to use the new DMC3 cameras 
because as you might know, Europe is more focused on frame cameras as uh, than the United States is. And uh, the DMC3 just came in time for us to uh, also satisfy these requirements of the customer. So um, the important part for us is here that uh, the uh, that Leica Hexagon is supporting us all the way along. Uh, the COVID only entered the program in the beginning of, two, on, uh, of 2015, and well, rather in the middle of 2015, and um, we came relatively fast up to speed with that. And uh, I must say, this combination, um, the equipment provider, software provider, and then the content provider later, uh, this has been a fantastic combination. <laughs> That's absolutely wonderful to hear. And you talk about the quality of this imagery. And since you've come on in 2015, what other benefits have you seen to using Leica Geosystems airborne sensors? The interesting part, um, I, I must say, we never flew ADS systems before. Um, due to the focus of the European market on frame cameras, um, we focus on other systems. Now, this system, this uh, program has given us the opportunity to use the ADS sensors, and um, in, now we are able to address also customers who are much more focused on radiometry, uh, which we achieve a long track especially, and uh, a better geometry a long track. Now, we have to see how this is really then accepted in a complete coverage of Europe um, or of uh, rather large areas because the whole market still needs to change a little bit. Aerial or autophoto coverages are not only measured in geometry or radiometry, they are also measured in, I call it temporal consistency. That means the ability to cover in a short time window large areas under the same light and weather conditions. So here I must say that the combination of the systems plus the high efficiency of acquisition and well, of course in combination with a good project management also will help us then uh, to bring this product as I would say a new product into the market. So until today we are happy with the imagery, the customer is happy and now let's see how we can convince our traditional customers to also be as excited as we are. Well, after that description mm -hmm. of the imagery mm -hmm. that you're collecting today, I don't think you'll have a problem with that at all, Simon. I'm working on it. <laughs> so final thoughts, gentlemen, mm -hmm. with the Hexagon Imagery Program and now the Hexagon Elevation Program, where do you see this taking the industry into the future? And John, well, let's start with you on that question. Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. So certainly our world's not getting easier or slowing down. I mean, it's complexity all around us. So. What's interesting is this is what's really driving this program. You know, the 15 centimeter was really targeted to solve a new problem, which is urban areas, you know, uh, lots of change, high rates of change. So we're gonna continue to see this happen in the imagery program and the elevation program, is that it'll all be about more data, faster and better quality, higher density. And this is really what our, our customers are asking us for. So we see this going on into the future. We have a long roadmap uh, already in front of us of sensor technology to build the efficiency side of things. And then we have great partners like Coe that can actually put this technology to use to capture the data in very challenging weather areas. So this is kind of what we're focusing on and uh, certainly not going to slow down either. So. Absolutely. This world is getting a lot faster, John. So Simon, where do you see this going in the future? Well, I would say there are two perspectives. One is the demand perspective and the other is the supplier perspective. We start with the demand side. I would say from the European point of view, we are looking a little bit jealous at the United States <laughs> uh, because there the program has already reached res uh, so resolutions of 15 centimeters, which is an interesting product in Europe. You know, in Europe, we have often um, already national data sets available, even for free somewhere in the range of 10 to 15 centimeters. Now, these are um, often combined from three-year cycles. Now, we have the chance today with a commercially available product to, sub no, I would not say substitute it, but um, replenish whatever the demand is in the moment because the demand doesn't stop. So, um, in so far, it is, it is interesting to have an off-the-shelf alternative here, um, which could be of a high value. Second, 
from a supply point of view, we are living in an age of sharing economy. Licensed content is more and more important. And it comes into the geographical information industry. That means also um, that here the next big step would be to make it important in Europe to get a broad acceptance from all stakeholders. This is not only the customers, these are also uh, agencies, the industry, these are authorities and qualified content providers. So and uh, this is what also has excited us in this program, um, especially John's uh, strong efforts to build a team here. And uh, we believe that this is the right way forward. Now, let's see when any uh, elevation program comes to Europe. In the moment, we would be very happy to uh, generate the European coverage to a high resolution which could change possibly the markets. And absolutely mm. correct that we're in a shared society mm. so much mm. today. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your insights with us today. Definitely looking forward to seeing where these programs do take the industry in the future. For more information on CUI, visit cowi.com. For more information on Leica Geosystems, visit leica-geosystems.com. And to watch more episodes here on HXGNTV, please visit hxgntv.com. Thank you for watching.